I don't believe in the word procrastination. Like, I don't really believe in that word. I told a young lady in Australia who told me she was a procrastinator. I said, look, if I told you to meet me here tomorrow at 5 a.m., I'm going to give you $3 million, where would you be? She said, I'm going to be right there at 459, ready to get that $3 million. And I said, so then there's no such thing as procrastination. What it is, is it's not important to you. Right? It's not, it's not meaningful to you. It's not, it's not something that's urgent to you. And when something is not urgent, you put it off. So, yep, you're in school, yes. You probably are getting grades, etc. But if it's not meaningful to you, if it's not important to you, then you're not going to make it a priority. So what you have to do is find out how can you make it meaningful? How can you make it purposeful? How can, how, how can you make it stick? And when you can find that out, I promise you, you'll get up early, you'll get there first, and you'll do whatever it takes to make that goal a reality. So for me, no such thing as procrastination is a such thing as it's not a priority to you. You said that you were going to graduate this year. You were going to finish college this year. You said you were going to run a marathon, right? This is what you said out of your mouth. All I'm doing is I'm saying, listen to me, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not telling you you should do this. You should do that. You should do this. I didn't tell you all year what you should do. But what I did tell you is don't talk about it. Be about it. You should be tired. All right? You should be tired of talking about it. And you should be at a place where you're doing something about it. All right? The reason why you have not become successful, the reason why you are not like a locomotive, the reason why you are not having success in your life is because every single day you got an excuse. And I need you to do me a favor. I made my last excuse yesterday. My last reason. I came up with my last reason yesterday of why I can't do what I'm supposed to do. And so I need you to do me a huge favor. All your excuses, all your good reasons, everything, every, everything that's keeping you from doing what you're supposed to do, I need you to put it behind you and say yesterday was the last day for that foolishness. Yesterday was the last day to say I don't have enough money to do this. I don't have enough money to go to school. I don't have enough money to get a computer. I don't have, I don't have what it takes. I'm not smart enough, right? I, I don't write well enough. I don't sing well enough. That's why I didn't do my CD. I didn't write my book because I'm not on that level. Listen to me. You better hear what I'm saying. Yesterday was the last day that I want to hear an excuse. It's over with. I was embarrassed. I said, listen to me, no more defeats. No more defeats, man. No more. I was tired of feeling defeated. I was tired of talking about I was going to do it and didn't do it. And I hated the feeling of when somebody asked me, yo, E, where the book? I ain't got it. I was tired of getting beat. I was tired of defeat. I said, I'm going to get it done. Every time you set this big goal, you never get it accomplished because you never break it up in manageable pieces. This is it. I'm talking about procrastinators. You still have time. Don't quit. Don't give up. You still have time. You can do it. You can make it happen, but you can't do it procrastinating. You can't do it talking about it, right? So I just want to go back and recap because I want to make sure you hear what I'm saying. But I, I dare you, I double dare you to do exactly what you said you were going to do when the year started because it's not too late.